Welcome to my channel. I'm more hardcore than Freely. I only drink water and eat air. The jock. <laughs> the American. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Candice the Edgy Veg, and I'm super excited because today is the first episode of a new series that we are calling Level Up. So pretty much what's happening is I'm going to take basic ingredients, basic dishes, and try to make three levels of them. So if you guys have any requests for what you want me to level up, I don't know, like top ramen, hot dogs, that sort of thing, you can leave it in the comment section below, and uh, we can see what we can come up with. Okay, I thought today would be fun to level up mac and cheese. Who doesn't love mac and cheese? I love mac and cheese. It's a super difficult thing to make really good and plant-based, so I think I'm gonna give you some fun, inventive ways, and creative ways, if you will, uh, to level it up in your own kitchen. So level one is going to be your basic, traditional American mac and cheese. I'm opting for the baked, so it's super authentic, so that's just going to be some noodles. So the macaroni I've thrown into the water now, and also this delicious homemade vegan cheese sauce from my cookbook, so if you want the recipe for that, you can buy my cookbook. I also have a version on my blog as well, so you can check that out there, or whatever your favorite like cheese sauce recipe is. Super family friendly, prep it, throw it in the oven, even prep it the night before. It's a crowd pleaser, everyone loves mac and cheese. The macaroni is boiling there, set the timer for eight minutes, so that's good to go. Now I have to heat up this cheese sauce, so I'm just going to throw this just into a pan and heat it on low until it's warm. Okay. Then I also have for the topping panko breadcrumbs as well as Earth Balance vegan butter. I'm gonna melt that in the microwave, mix that with the panko breadcrumbs, sprinkle that on top and throw it in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So basic baked mac and cheese is great, but what happens if we take it to the next level? So for level two, I wanted to take this to like a fancy bougie level. So we are going to make truffled mac and cheese. I mean, if you really want to wow your friends and make them think that you're like a culinary expert, literally just truffle anything. So I'm going to take the same steps from level one. So take our macaroni, toss it with our sauce, and then add a couple fun ingredients to that. All right, step one, I'm going to heat up some avocado oil in a skillet and we're going to cook up some mushrooms. Oh my God, I love mushrooms so much. I'm going to cook these guys until they turn just slightly brown, then I'm going to reduce the heat. I'm going to let them simmer for about five minutes. All right, we have, we, I'm cooking alone. I have my macaroni in my pot. I'm going to add one teaspoon of truffle oil. I would start with a teaspoon, and depending on your sensitivity to truffles, you can add more if you want. It's a pretty powerful flavor, so I would start small and then go from there. That's what she said. Okay, I'm going to mix this around. You can really smell that truffle. Is the smell, is the smell setting on your computer on? Our cheese is just about warmed. Now we're going to add that. Look at that gooeyness. This is the food porn that you all asked for. Really coat each noodle, no macaroni left behind. Do. So I have two bowls here. I'm going to add the mac in here, top it with some parsley, and throw those mushrooms on top. And then a little bit of drizzle of truffle. And that's how you make the bougiest mac and cheese. Salt bay this shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, same steps as one and two. Add your cheese sauce. This time, I'm going to add some black beans, as well as some corn. And then this next step is optional. If you like heat like I do, add some jalapenos. If you don't, A, grow up, and B, <laughs> just skip them. And then just mix that together. And then because they're nachos, I'm going to add a little bit more cheese sauce than I would a normal mac and cheese, just because you want that like super gooey, cheesy texture because we are trying to make nachos here. Now for our nachos, I'm just gonna take a baking sheet, line that with chips, and throw the mac and cheese on top. 
Okay, so we're doing level three here. So this is like over the top, decadent, delicious. Um, half of you are going to be like, that's amazing. The other half is gonna be like, you took it too far. And that's the point. So you can add whatever you like on top of your nachos. You can add more beans and more corn. I'm adding some red pepper. Uh, next time I would even add some refried beans if you want that. I think now upon looking at this, that would have been nice as well. But we have some salsa in the middle, so we're adding some red pepper, green onion, cilantro, and then I'm going to add a huge dollop of salsa on top of that. So again, if you like sour cream on your nachos, you can add a big dollop of sour cream in the middle, or guac, or refried beans. Dice up some avocado and throw that on top as well. A couple lime wedges. And then we're done. All right guys, there you have it. Three ways to level up your mac and cheese because why eat boring food? That's what I always say. As of this very moment, I will continue to say it every week while I sent you this video to your inbox. I want to know in the comment section below what you guys want me to level up next. Just throw some crazy things in there. Let's see what we can come up with together. If you are new here, please take the time to hit that subscribe button. If you love this type of video, you want to see more of this, hit the thumbs up, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!